It's no secret right now that energy bills are big news. So much so, in fact, that it's predicted that now that the energy price cap has risen, energy bills will become unaffordable for a whopping 25% of UK households. This means an unprecedented number of people are being pushed into increasingly desperate financial situations, with some families even having to choose between heating or putting food on the table. This is something that none of us should have to do. However, the price cap itself caps only the price of energy, and you can, in fact, pay more than this the more that you use electricity. For those who find themselves in a difficult financial situation, our part one of this video series on how to save money on your energy bills can show you how to get help with often astronomical energy bills and even worse, debt. So make sure that you check that out. Without further ado, however, here's our second video on ways to save money on your energy bills. It's important to remember that while prices going up in many ways is out of our control, however, how much we use is up to us. And this can really help in keeping those prices down, especially regarding how efficiently that we use our items. Seems simple, right? But lots of us are paying over the odds for our electricity usage on items all across the home. So what are some of the most energy wasteful items to keep an eye on? Some appliances in the home absolutely guzzle up energy like it's going out of fashion. The obvious ones being in the kitchen, namely fridges, freezers, washing machines, and dishwashers. Although they're actually to be found all over the home. And most importantly, they could be taking off more than 300 pounds from your budget each year. Namely, all of these units that we've just mentioned should have eco-friendly modes. So get that switch on. Our first tip here is to look at your fridge. Considering that these are always on and are a huge drain on energy as a result, it's better to use these as efficiently as possible. Try not to overstock your fridge as this can make the fridge work much harder to keep things cool. But at the same time, and we know this is more than a little counterintuitive, it's also really inefficient to have it too empty. However, in winter, remember that you can also easily store fruit and veggies elsewhere if you don't already, while in the colder months, even milk and juices can be left out of the fridge. This is related, but our second tip here is that you should always make sure to defrost your freezer now and again, as it helps it run much more efficiently, and you could even save you up to 150 quid a year, all from just taking the time to defrost it. The best thing about freezers is that they can be used to store prepared meals while making your food shopping go a lot further for you. Plus, there's actually a pretty damn surprising amount of time that you can freeze many foods before they spoil. So this is definitely vital if you want to minimize your food waste and make sure that your food goes further. Our third tip is to start washing like a machine. Yes, unsurprisingly, those home mainstays like washing machines are also a massive energy guzzler as well. But there are also some tips that will help you wring the most out of them. First of all, make sure that you always use a high speed spin to wring out water from clothes more quickly and to wash at the lowest temperatures. 30 degrees Celsius is enough to clean most clothes at this point nowadays and a few detergents are actually specifically designed for washing at this temperature. Don't forget, as we've previously mentioned, that many modern washing machines will also have an eco setting. And just to drill this in now, always use the eco setting. Dishwashers, or do we mean energy wasters? Dishwashers are arguably non-essential, but of course, many of us, including yours truly here, use one. They unfortunately use a pretty astonishing amount of both energy and water. And using one three times a week or so could in fact be adding around 120 quid per year to your bills. Needless to say, if you wash up in the sink instead, or better yet, use a washing up bowl and only rinse at the end, this will save you both electricity and waste less water, meaning likewise that your bills will diminish. That's the thesis, and that, and that, and that. Needless to say, we're a big nation of tea drinkers in the UK, although I'm actually told that the Irish drink more tea than us. Either way, we boil that kettle an awful lot. However, kettle misuse could actually be adding a pretty in order amount to that lucky bill with each year. The best way to use it is in fact to only boil the amount of water that you actually need for a cup of tea or a pot if you like your loose tea. Overfilling your kettle is really inefficient and leads to you boiling multiple times to finish it. And the worst thing, it could be costing up to £87 per year. What about other areas of the house, however, might be asking. However, we get it. The kitchen is for many of us the mainstay of the house in terms of household utilities. But there are many other elements around the home that are costing us big time in our bills. Our first tip here is to punch those lights out. Firstly, we don't mean to patronize in what for many might seem like an obvious statement, but get those lights off. Keeping your home well lit in winter can really cost a lot of money, especially if you have all the lights blazing at once, and especially in rooms that you aren't using. However, there are a few tricks to help keep that price down. First,
Firstly, it's good to replace those old incandescent light bulbs with energy efficient LED bulbs, or even better, smart bulbs, as you can then program these to come on only when it gets dark. Make sure that you also get rid of fluorescent strip lights too if you have them, as these are energy heavy and often expensive to replace these days. It's also worth noting, of course, that halogen bulbs use even more energy than LED bulbs, so LED bulbs all the way. Our next tip is to update that telly to save on your lecky. This one might not be the least bit surprising for some of us, but tellies often use up tons in terms of energy. But there's also one thing to note is that older televisions, especially often, use lots of lecky. If it's possible at all, it might actually be worth investing in a newer telly, as these often have newer technology built in with efficiency much more at the forefront. Also, remember that TVs use energy even when they're in standby, so make sure that you always turn them off at the wall or unplug them if there's no off switch at the wall. Our next tip is also to lose a bit more and cut down on the gaming. This next tip isn't going to please some of us, sorry gamers, but gaming consoles can also really add up on that energy bill. Many games consoles do have energy efficient modes, but if they're used all day and all night, then this is really seriously and negatively going to affect your bills. If you've got kids that are really big on gaming and this isn't going to be an easy conversation to have with them, then it might be worth telling them to start playing outside or simply to get the board games out for a little bit. Heck, there's arguably even more fun to be had playing real football rather than playing simply FIFA and it also gets everyone a bit of exercise too. As with televisions, of course make sure that you switch all of these game consoles off at the mains or unplug them as they'll also use energy in standby. All in all, there are numerous reasons why the increases in electricity are happening. We haven't actually covered these so much here as we want to stick to providing you with ways to save money rather than providing excuses for why these prices are rising so drastically. We also have to recognize that with the goalposts shifting so much and the prices fluctuating and rising so much against our control, these price rises are unfair to the average household. These are just some of the ways into saving on energy prices in the home and there are so many more possible. Have you made use of any energy saving methods that saved you money around the home? Make sure as always to let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like our video here and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on all of the best ways to save money and bring your costs down. Thanks for watching from Hot UK Deals.